Hi, Frank Alexander here. I want to talk to you today about uh, thermostats, uh, buying the right type of thermostat. Now, there have been several calls I've been on lately where I've gone to a home and the homeowner has put in a thermostat that they bought at one of the local big box hardware stores. And in doing so, they've actually put in the wrong thermostat for their system. So I want to go through the three types of thermostats that are out there on the market and that you can buy, but putting in the right thermostat is, is extremely important for your system to work correctly. So let's take the first type, which is a straight air conditioning and furnace. Now it could be a gas furnace or an LP furnace or a fuel, uh, fuel oil furnace. So typically in the South, we stick with just a gas furnace or an LP furnace. So we wanna look for a system that has a one heat which is your furnace, and one cool, which is your air conditioning. Um, a typical uh, non-programmable thermostat uh, that you can buy on the market is this Honeywell 3000. And you'll notice right here, it says one heat, one cool. And that's this thermostat is great for furnaces and air conditioners. Um, and the model looks something like this. And you'll notice this is a non-programmable. We got the digital display here. We have a fan on off switch and just a simple switch here that says cool and heat and your temperature settings are done with these two buttons. This is a fixed temperature uh, thermostat. Uh, you set it, forget it, and it stays that temperature um, throughout the entire season. The second type of thermostat I wanna go to is the non-programmable thermostat for heat pumps. Now, heat pumps require a specific type of thermostat. You can't just go out and buy any cheap thermostat off the brand, off the uh, shelf in any of the hardware stores. You have to look for one that specifically says heat pump. And here's a quick way, if it doesn't say heat pump, look on here and it says two heat and one cool. So heat pumps require two heat settings and one cool setting. So, well, most of them require the one cool. So low end, lower end uh, systems, the higher end systems may have a two cool system, uh, settings. And in that case, you might want to go to the third type, which will be uh, discussed in a minute. So the heat pump thermostat looks like this. Now the key characteristic of the heat pump, you'll notice is now it has a third setting switch here. That third setting says emergency heat. It's got to say emergency heat on there or else it's not heat pump compatible. Still has the stain fan switch for auto and on. Still has your temperature settings here and your temperature setting display here. The final type of thermostat I want to go to is your programmable. Now more of the, these programmable thermostats will handle both types of systems and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, in this case, this is a Focus Pro 6000, and you'll notice right here, it does have two heat and one cool, two heat, two cool. So it can run a one heat, one cool, and it can also run a two heat, one cool, which is both a furnace and a thermostat. And it looks something like this. You'll see it here. There is no switches. It's just program buttons. You'll have a display here. And in this case, the mode, which shows up in this little square here, will tell you if you're in the cool setting, your heat setting, or auxiliary heat setting. So this switch here, or this button here, will toggle through those three settings. And then you're, again, you've got your uh, temperature settings here, you adjust your temperature settings. And uh, I've got another video out there on how to program this particular type of thermostat um, for programming daily schedules. Now to get it, into a heat pump mode, it comes factory set as a furnace thermostat. Uh, to get it into the heat pump mode, you have to go to the installation guide right here. It comes with the unit. And then if you dig back through the pages here, there is a settings page. It'll tell you how to get into the programming mode. And I've got the wrong one here. Yep, that's the wrong one. Installation guide for the 6000, sorry. Installation guide for the 6000. Go into the setting setup. We have it here on page six. It, uh, I don't know if you can read this too well, but right here under the first function, it says system type. It'll come factory set at a one heat, one cool furnace situation. 
which is setting number one. You have to change that to setting number five, where it has two heat and one cool. That's your heat pump setting. There's a couple other settings that will go through on that as well. Um, you'll have to know which uh, which line color you're actually running your reversing valve on, but um, it'll it'll talk you through that. Read through those directions, but you definitely need when you're buying a heat pump, you have to go with one that actually says uh, non-programmable says uh, emergency heat switch there, or if you have a programmable one, at least get one that says on the box two heat and one cool like it does here, um, so that it is heat pump compatible. That's I got. That's all I got for right now. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a pleasant day.